Hello everyone. This tutorial will show you how to configure OpenCV in the ROS environment. And we will later on do a very short camera test with OpenCV. The software we are going to use is VM Player. VM Player Player. Just open it. The system we are going to use is Ubuntu 14.04. This one. Open it. Oh, I already opened it. Never mind. Okay, so let me go to the full screen. I assume you have installed ROS in your system and also uh, OpenCV properly in your system. So let's browse the file system. So I have OpenCV installed here. The OpenCV version installed is 2.4.9. The highest version you should, you, you should be using with ROS should be uh, 2.4.13 because any higher version up to 3 point something that's not it's not fully compatible with ROS that's why I'm using it and I have installed ROS uh, I assume it's ROS Indigo in the system so anyway we'll, j we'll just get started so uh, you you have had OpenCV installed already after this uh, you want to make sure that you have installed CV Bridge let me open the Firefox So you have to make sure you have installed Vision OpenCV. So this is the interface between ROS and OpenCV. To install this, go to a terminal and type in sudo apt-get install ROS indigo. Oh, I think I have Jade here. Vision OpenCV. Okay, cool. Um, I have already installed it. So you, if you guys just want to install it real quick, that'd be good. So uh, after this is installed, that means you have installed one of its components called CV Bridge. This is very important because it is a bridge between ROS messages and OpenCV. Now what we are going to do is to actually write a ROS node that will use OpenCV. To do that, we would first create a package in your workspace. So uh, our workspace is called Catkin Workspace, and there should be three folders, source, development, and build in it. It's a newly built workspace. Okay, and source folder, yeah. Okay, uh, access it from terminal. CD Catkin Catkin Workspace and source. You can see there's a Catkin uh, uh, CMakeList.txt file here. So what we are going to do is Catkin create package. The package name we want to use is called OpenCV Tutorial. It would include packages like standard messages, sensor messages. If you are going to, to write in C++, you have to include raw CPP. And because you are trying to use OpenCV, what you are going to include should be CV bridge. If you are trying to tr transport some images from ROS image type to OpenCV image type, you might want to include image transport as well. So cool. So this package has been initiated. And let's see. There's the OpenCV tutorial folder in the source under the source directory. Let's go, let's go into this and have a look. So we have a cmakelist.txt and a package.xml also a source, source folder. So we need some code in the source folder that would use the uh, OpenCV and let's do this step by step. So I think I already have a, so a, f a folder somewhere. Let me have a look. In the desktop, yes. This is a source I'm going to use in terms of camera test. This is the, uh, well, this is the uh, source code I wrote previously, before this tutorial. There are some important things to note. First, you have to include ROS.header file. 
and also CV bridge the header because you have to use OpenCV from the Rust system. And also, you need to include some standard header files, a string. Okay, what you're trying to do here is you want to initiate a video capture object which would open any cameras you have here and you to check if the camera is being opened you will get the width and height of this camera also known as the frame width and height and you would print to the screen the width and height and name the video called my video and then it would loop continuously it would read from the video capture object and store the frame in this mat file so this mat file is the actual image you capture with your camera it will check if this operation is successful if not it will print to screen the message and it would show the frame to the my video window so if everything is successful up to here you should be able to see a pop-up window that shows your face from the camera and this is to interrupt your uh, code actually yeah so that's pretty much it and because we are tr using the raw system we're just trying to include some of the things here okay uh, I'm back yeah sure uh, so to the bottom here this is our main function uh, we are initiating our loss object which called a uh, camera test this is a class here so this is a camera test object uh, it calls this constructor that goes through the ca the camera testing whole process this should be pretty clear to most of you guys so this uh, source code should be fine let me just close this and next step we are going to do is uh, cmakelist.txt so as we can see here there's find package catching required components we need to add a line called find package open cv free find this open CV component and we scroll down find include directories to add line that says CV include this and we would move down move down Start right here we want to add executables this should be clear to you guys from the last tutorials you just you guys just had so the name of our cpp file is called internal camera cam test i think so internal cam test okay let me go to full And we are going, and then eventually it's this line target link libraries. We need to add OpenCV libraries. Cool, this should be all for our CMake list. And let's double check this uh, package.xml file. In our build dependent, we have CV bridge, image transport, raw CPP, send the message, send the message. These are all good. Okay, we can close this now. So, uh, our source code is ready and CMake list has been properly modified. And we should do a Catkin make in the very top level, Catkin workspace. So, uh, let's go to Catkin workspace. Do a Catkin make and see what happens. 
Okay, all good. So we have built the target OpenCV tutorial node, and let's run this. Let's do a ROS run OpenCV tutorial. Oops, tutorial and open CV tutorial node. Oops, not found. Okay, so uh, we need to actually source this before doing anything else. Set up dot bash. Do a ROS run again. Oh, oops. Okay, I should just. Oh. Now it should be good. Yeah, it's close. Yes. Okay, uh, many of you guys may have some problem with opening up the camera with the exact same code I wrote here. One of the possible reasons is because, uh, let me go back to virtual machine and go back, come to removal devices. There's a webcam. Those uh, guys, if you guys have something that's different from this, try to make it look like this. I would say, for example, if I disconnect it and try to run the node, like it will say, cannot open the video cam because the virtual machine does not have access to the webcam embedded in my laptop. And that's why in the virtual machine settings, removable devices, webcam, click on connect. It says that it's claimed by another driver on the host operating system. Just ignore this and click OK. And run the ROS node again. Oops, it's still not working. Crap. Let me double check. Remove the devices. OK, should be good. Yeah, it's good now. Cool. So this is how to configure OpenCV with Rust tutorial. Hopefully this should be helpful for you guys. Alright, thanks for this.